All right, so I'm going to start off with player perspective, and because because you're playing a carry role, I'm going to be focusing mostly on the carry role. Now you've got you're going to the um, safe lane. You've got. Let me see if I've got player perspective. My thanks. Oh, thank thank you. you. Let me reduce the. Right, you're go. playing Gyro. You are the thing with 1.5, 1.6, 2K, even 3K uh, bracket is that you have no idea um, who's going to be who you're going to be laning against. So it's it's best to keep uh, it's best to keep lots of region. Okay, this is something that you should know that the rune cont this is very good that you backed off uh, right away. Um, juggernaut, you cannot contest a rune with with the uh, juggern against juggernaut with just yourself especially. So if there's a juggernaut at the rune, just leave it. Rune is not worth it at all, especially if you're mid. Rune is not worth it. Um, if you get half HP, if you die, rune is just not worth it. So don't people people for some reason put a high priority on runes. Don't make that mistake. Chip away at their health. If they're trying to take the rune, chip away at their health. Uh, damage them, that's going to go a long way. A hundred extra gold, um, it's, it's usually not worth it. Yeah, that's good. Good blocking. You should let the range creep go. Yeah, that's good. You should always try to check the inventory of your um, opponent, of your enemy. Uh, you want to know if he's got more region than you. If he does, then you want to be playing safe. If he doesn't have more region than you, then you want to be harassing him. You want to be um, trading with him. As carry, your main focus should be on, of course, on farming. And then the next thing you want to be focusing on is not dying. It's more important to, to not die as carry than it is to farm. All 
Alright, your support is uh, just being stupid right now. That is a very, very stupid thing to do. You, it doesn't matter if your support is going in balls deep. It doesn't matter if he's going in YOLO. You have to be smart. Okay, this is... Okay. So, a couple of things here. Um, you have no kill potential on Juggernaut. Uh, especially not right now. Right now, um, Rasta is level 1, I assume. Yeah. He's level 1. His shackle... Uh, he's got shackle. So, he's his shackle last 2.75 seconds it's gonna take you one second to be to go from where you are all the way to juggernaut and then he's always got spin which is gonna damage you more than your rock rocket barrage is one second of rocket barrage so you have no kill potential on juggernaut and you should recognize that you, you need to know these things um, if you're gonna climb in in um, in your basically daughter in, in your daughter skill it doesn't matter if this guy knows or doesn't know if he shackles him don't go on the guy. You're going to be wasting your mana and you're going to be wasting a lot of your health. So, you you probably want to tell the guy as well that, you know, we can't kill Juggernaut, so don't bother going on him. Just harass him. He should be harassing right now. See, what did you actually accomplish? You, you got him. He was at 475. Okay, you got him to 350. So you chipped away about 120 HP. Now, let's look at you. You were at 520 and you have 230 mana, 240 mana, right? You used up almost, how much is it? You used up almost 100 mana and you, you, you wasted 100 health. All right, the next thing is a salve gives you 400 HP, whereas a tango gives you uh, 115 HP over 16 seconds. You've got 300 HP missing. Salving up right now, I don't agree with that at all. You're wasting 25% uh, of your um, of your salve, which you will need later on. I'm prob I'm pretty sure you're gonna need a salve later on, and you're you're not gonna have one. You could have just tangled up, and then you could have just gone back to last hitting. It wouldn't have. Um, it wouldn't have mattered they're not gonna go on you they have no kill potential again you also have to recognize do they have a kill potential on me they don't they can't kill you at this level maybe when juggernaut is level you know three or four and he has um uh, uh boots and you don't then yeah but at the moment no he doesn't so you should be farming you should be focusing on farming see right now it's been two minutes thirty uh, two minutes you had four creep waves that's a total of 16 creeps and you've had only 8 CS. You've only had 50% of the CS. That's that's really bad as a character. And there hasn't been a lot of contest there. They're not coming in harassing you or anything. So you should be farming right now. You, sh you don't, don't bother harassing him. That's not your job. That's your support's job. Who's doing nothing at all. But if they're not doing their job, you don't, you can't be doing their job. You have to still focus on, uh, you have to still focus on what you're doing. What you have to do. See, past four creeps, you only got one because you were focusing on harassing. It's not even that you're missing CS, it's just because you're not focusing on CS. Look, you, you just missed you just missed this range creep. Just because you're focusing on harassing. Only harass if you think you can get a kill on the guy or if you think that harassing will get him to back off. But that's also not your job because he's an offlaner. Oh wow, he's actually got more CS than you as well. Alright, almost the same. So your harassing is not doing anything. And also, um, at a higher level, uh, you'll see that Actually, this is something you should be focusing on as a carry if you have, like right now, right now is when you should harass him. You should go around here and harass him. But when you see a creep that's going low, his his health is low, right? right. See, you, you missed all the creeps. All right, let me show you. Let me tell you exactly what I mean. This is the most important part. All right, you shouldn't be going from here, first off. Why are you taking creep aggro? 
if you want to buy an item, just walk up from here. Y you just need to stand around here to take whatever item thing you're gonna buy. Um, your yeah, Shelby mask. So you just took a lot of creep aggro. Um, just go here, take the uh, take the Shelby mask, then rotate around from here and stand up here. Your creeps are not gonna be your creeps are gonna be hitting. Um, their creeps are gonna be hitting your creeps, and you free to take one or two hits on Juggernaut. But you go here, you take the creep aggro, you move all the entire creep wave back here. That's not good. See now you you missed two creeps. See, this is when you should take two hits. Uh, this is when you should take two hits on Juggernaut because the creeps are at full health. But now, right now, you see this creep is about to die. Don't focus him. This creep is about to die. Come in here. Come at a safe distance, and take the last hit. Then you see this creep is going low. Take the last hit. Now, nobody's dying. So you go up here. You click on the ground. You take one hit. You de-aggro creeps. How are you de-aggro creeps? Let me let me show you a little bit. You can't do it when it's paused. Okay. So. Mm. Okay, so what I would have done is right here I would have clicked him, that's good, then I would have clicked this guy. Okay, you did try to click it, but it was too late. And now, now you don't stop. Now you can't take these creeps, so what you do is, you walk on the ground here, you walk here, you walk here, and you take one hit, and then you click this creep. What's, what's going to happen is, it, you will get the uh, shot off on Juggernaut, and you will de-aggro the creeps, meaning you won't take any hits from the creeps. And then you're gonna, t you're probably gonna be able to take another hit off, or not. All right, you're not gonna take another. Then you're gonna take the CS. So you get a free, um, free. What is it? About 50 damage on Juggernaut. That's how you harass, little by little by little. But you're only doing. You're not doing that to kill him. You're only doing that to make him slightly afraid of coming into you, coming in for farming. He's a melee hero. You should be. Yeah, that's good. You should harass him, but not at the expense of CS. If you can't manage that, then don't harass him at all, just CS. At your level, I would advise you, forget about harassing, just focus on farming. You need to go in a practice lobby, and you need to uh, practice farming. Also, um, you should have... You should have... Um, Taken the ring of protection at the beginning. If you're gonna go for Aquila, uh, uh, you should have taken the ring of protection at the beginning, and then you would have been able to upgrade your Sobi mask, and you would have been able to take uh, uh, buy slippers of agility from here. And at around five to six minute, five minute mark, then you would have been able to complete your Aquila. So you should have brought this with you, uh, but it's fine. It's not a big deal to be honest. But you you should think about these things slightly slightly ahead of time. Not the end of the world. I'm gonna slightly for oh okay. Again, you're wasting okay. So you've ma you've uh, leveled up homing missile. Now leveling up rocket barrage or homing missile against Juggernaut is pretty much completely useless. Uh, you could have completely avoided homing missile. You could have taken one level in rocket barrage, and you could have actually ro uh, maxed out flag cannon. Flag cannon. This is a uh, lower level MMR. Nobody's gonna gank you. Most probably nobody's gonna gank you uh, up until at least 10 minutes, right? So what you need to do is you need to max out your flag flag cannon. It's only 50 mana, same as your. Oh well, it's uh, half your almost half your rocket barrage. So you max out your flag cannon. You just stand about here on the creep wave. And then you right click the creep wave. What's gonna happen is you're gonna start hitting Juggernaut. And he's gonna you're gonna be harassing him at the same time as you're farming. Now it's gonna push out the wave. Definitely it's gonna push out the wave. But if you're careful and you take all the CS, it doesn't matter if Juggernaut is getting um, a, a free XP because you're not zoning him out right now anyway. Your uh, support isn't zoning him out, you're not zoning him out. He's getting XP anyway. But what's gonna happen is he's not gonna be able to get the farm. And he's not gonna be able, he's gonna be harassed. He's gonna be at low health. Right now he's got 20 CS. Right now you've got 20 CS. So 
that's just horrible. He's getting as much farm and as much XP as you, as a safe lane carry. So, I would not be surprised if he destroys you guys in the in the mid game because he's he's a carry right now. I, actually, let's check their other carry. Their other carry actually has less farm than Juggernaut. Let's see, you're off lane. I don't know who you're off. Okay, your off lane is just gank ganking. So, all in all. If you had turned on flank, if you'd maxed flak cannon, right now you would have been level 3 on flak cannon at least. You could have maxed flak cannon, that was 4 hits, 4 free hits on juggernaut every uh, 30 seconds. Every creep wave, 4 free hits on juggernaut. He would not been able to farm. You would have pushed the wave all the way to the tower. He's not going to be able to farm on the tower, not at this level especially. Um, so that's what, that's, th that's what you need to do. That's what you should have been doing. Homing missile on him. He's just gonna dodge it. He's just gonna start spinning probably. And even even if he doesn't, you're only doing what is it? 125 damage. That's he doesn't care about that. Oh, he started spinning anyway. So he started. He dodged it completely. So you just wasted your mana. And okay, you you made him go back, which is kind of stupid because if I was him, I would have just came even closer to you and then started spinning. I would have damaged you for free. Now your whole creep wave is pushing. You should turn. Okay, good. There you go. So you recognize that the creep wave is creep wave is pushing, and you you need to push them. Oh wow, this guy seriously, he just took the fight. Oh, there you go. That's good. That's good. You should be able to get a kill off him. Oh, that's just. Ah, that's a shame. Yeah, you couldn't have done anything because uh, you guys have no vision, so you wouldn't have been able to know that uh, Night Stalker is coming anyway. Even though it's night time, but it doesn't matter. You, you've no vision. You can't be blamed for this, and you really should have had the kill on him. Um, let's see what you could have done differently here. Right. Uh, okay, so you should have recognized right here you should have recognized that your next key creep wave is all the way up back here it's not going to be here in time you should have turned on flat cannon right now you've got three range creeps so you should have been up here standing up here hitting those range creeps you've only got one range creep they've got three range creeps you need to see constantly be checked actually even before that it's going to have you see they've got two range creeps you should take out one range creep asap with your rocket barrage uh, and now they've got a whole new creep wave. So right now, I would have stood up here and turned on flat cannon. I would have reduced their HP to the point that the lane would have been stable about here. You turned on flat cannon a bit too late, and then you didn't even, you didn't even take enough hits. And you let the creep aggro you. You let the creep waves hit you. And now you're under the tower, and there's creep waves. So also also when you see juggernaut to be very honest with you if i i was you i would have just gone back i literally just would have i don't even care if he shackles him i i would have just gone back but if you if you are going to go for the kill hmm, okay you actually couldn't have done anything different there uh, but i see he's at full health you're not I would have actually just run ran back I don't care about this guy I don't care if he's shackling him or not I don't care I would just ran back because you're the carry and it's more important that you don't die than if you do get a kill it's more important If you'd backed off at in time, uh, Night Stalker would not have a, have been able to kill you. Maybe your um, support, this guy Rasta, would have died, but you would have st still been alive. Okay, the other thing, going Magic Wand already, um, Juggernaut does not have mana to sustain his spells, and uh, Ricky is. Uh, I, I have no idea what he's doing so far he's just like standing there taking XP or something so nobody's casting spells in your lane there is no reason to go magic on right now at all at most you want to go magic stick just to be safe you want to go magic stick and um, if 
you see that people are not casting. If you see there's a tide in your lane, and you take magic stick, not magic wand, just the magic stick. Let me show you the the normal unupgraded. You know, where's the bloody hell? Yeah, this one, just this. And you see the tide recognizes that you have a magic stick, and he doesn't cast spells. Then you, there is no reason for you to upgrade to a magic wand. You want to get your um, uh, phase boots and your items. Okay, you should be up here harassing, harassing this guy. See, you're playing way far back. Uh, there is no reason right now for you to be playing this far back. And nighttime is almost over. And you also see Night Stalker is up there, up on the map. So you should be harassing him a little bit. Also, you've got three people down here. I don't know what the hell this guy is doing, just sitting here. But okay, last last thing. This is not the time to okay. So let me just outline. If you wanted to turn on rock Rocket Barrage and push the lane, then the time to do that was right now when Juggernaut is okay. When Juggernaut is farming up here, that's when the time to do it. Right now, so you stand up here, you start um, start the Rocket Barrage, you push out the lane, your your creep died to the tower, and then it pushes out your lane all the way up till here. Uh, and this is the worst time to turn on Rocket Barrage because you're actually helping Juggernaut right now. And you're not, you got one CS from all of that. That's, that's just bad. Again, looking at the CS, you got 37 CS. Whereas Juggernaut has got, okay, he's got less CS now. For some reason he stopped farming. Okay, it's daytime. And Night Stalker is coming in. There is absolutely no reason for you guys to be scared of him right now. You need to turn on your rocket barrage, your ulti, you need to go on him, you need to dive him like he's like a creep. And instead, okay that's good, 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 excellent, yeah, he should die right now, good, perfect. So you recognize that Nice Walker was weak, it's daytime, and you went on him, that's very good. Now you're out of mana, um, you should probably get a clarity in, or at least, or, or a mango. Because without your spells, um, you're pretty much useless. You've got your alt up, but you only have, you only have uh, mana enough for one spell. So, what's coming in the courier? Okay, you didn't. You didn't buy. Again, hitting Ricky with a <coughs> with the rocket homing missile is kind of pointless. You're wasting your mana. Okay, I'm gonna. S that's the that's the early game. I'm gonna skip a little bit. Uh, what happened here? You guys go for a kill. Okay, that's good. There was no kill potential on Juggernaut. I, uh, I don't. What you did is not a big deal. You just turned on your rocket barrage. Um, again, if you had maxed out your flat cannon. You might have actually been able to kill him because even when he's spinning around you would have been able to damage him However, you need to tell this idiot your teammate that look we cannot kill him stop wasting your mana stop wasting these Precious 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 snakes because you could have actually pushed the lane and planted snakes uh, Planted the snakes right right here now, Even if you weren't able to weren't able to take the tower down You still would have been able to chip it down to half HP or more than that and that's a big deal, pushing the pretty pressure pressuring the tower. It's daytime, nice talk comes in, you you can um, harass him, you can probably maybe even kill him, but he's useless. You've 
um, open up space for the rest of your team to push or farm whatever so uh, this p putting an uh, putting your ulti down here for the Rasta putting the ulti down here huge mistake huge huge mistake okay I'm just gonna fast forward to see uh, what you build after another thing you not you don't you've got your ult up you level 8 you've got your ult up uh, you've maxed rocket barrage and that's a killing build you need to kill people you need to have a TP you need to keep looking there's a night stalker on the other team night stalker is gonna be diving towers all the time um, and you're not farming anyway so if you're not farming you should be ganking uh, although you should be farming because there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to harass Bad Juggernaut, but you did go for a fighting build, so you should be uh, uh, you should be ganking right now. You should have a TP right now. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, I was actually check looking, but you should have had a TP, and you should have been looking to ta uh, to uh, TP and kill people. You've got a m very powerful ult. You've got a very, very powerful rocket barrage. You should have been killing people. That's a good kill. Anyway, um, I think I've... Okay, the rest of the game actually doesn't even matter because you still... It's it's 16 minutes and you've just got... You've just got, like... You've got no damage right now. You got 67 CS at 16 minutes. You should have had at least, um, at least about 100 CS at this time, at least, which is around about uh, 4,000 gold, 5,000 actually. Hey, all right, I'm gonna stop the video here. Um, the points that you should be focusing on. Uh, our um, last hitting very 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 important if you're playing what you need to do is you need to uh, if you're gonna play carry you need to pick five carries that you're gonna play and I would recommend going into Dota buff going to meta looking at uh, the bracket that you're playing in and picking the top five uh, highest win rate carries and go into a practice lobby and start start um start practicing last hitting with those with those heroes spend about an hour on each hero um last hit as much as you possibly can practice 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 and then start playing the game and what you need to focus on is really you need to focus on last hitting you need to focus on getting gold you need to think about whether the opponent offlaner has kill potential on you or not and you need to play accordingly if the if the carry has a kill potential on you then you need to be playing safe and very back and just just try to get the last hits and as soon as the, the opponent tries to go on you just back off right um, if the opponent doesn't have kill potential on you then you want to be uh, getting last hits and harassing him between last hits do not miss a last hit for a harass do not do that focus on last hits first if there's no last hit to do then you at a safe distance you go and harass um, so uh, first point focus on farming second point uh, recognize the kill potential do you have the kill potential does he have the kill potential are you both equal in this case you were both kind of equal uh, in fact you had the harass potential if you turned on flak cannon if you turn on flak cannon at the beginning you would have been easily able to uh, zone out juggernaut at uh, 10 minutes in juggernaut would not have had, had any farm he would have actually had to rotate somewhere else and if he st stays in the lane he's going to be completely shut down he's going to be ha he's going to have, have uh, no farm so you should have recognized these things um, so keep keep your you know don't just go for the same build every single game before you put a level in any of your spells think about what you're laning against what you're trying to accomplish are you going for a farming game are you going for a ganking game are you going for a killing game right now you decided to go for kills you didn't take TP you didn't go in uh, kill anyone you didn't uh, um, uh, TP in to save your teammate or anything like that so 
why did you go for this build then um, these things these are the three or four things that you should be focusing on and I'm gonna keep leave this video on YouTube so you can go back and uh, uh, go back and um, uh, look at it again so any any questions Are you still there?